All right, so new teaser just dropped for JP Green Cross of the next festival unit. Everyone's super excited about this festival, of course. Um, obviously, we, we've been known as Ragnarok, but this teaser right here pre pretty much confirms who it is, and it's kind of unexpected. So they show like some of the Ragnarok characters in the middle. They have like a question mark with the silhouette of the next upcoming festival Ragnarok character. And people instantly jumped in to make obviously cross-reference. And the conclusion is that it's this character from the Grand Cross trailer. Oh, good pause. Uh, the Remember when the Grand Cross Ragnarok trailer dropped and everyone was excited because it looked like it was... And they really, they said it like it was gonna be like an animation they were gonna make. Good times. That was a long time ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Now, in this trailer they made, which looks still a bajillion times better than the season 3 slash 4 of the anime, R.I.P., they have these like fights between the Ragnar characters and the Sins. Most of the tier right here against the... Uh, was it Meliodas? No, it was... Oh. I thought it was... Uh, never mind. Right here. This is the girl. Thor. Against Escanor. That's a... Listen. If they are saying that she can handle Escanor, you know? Maybe she does need a fast one. What am I to say, right? And then we get this shot. Oh, yeah. Look at, dude. We could have had this. We could we could have had this in uh, season three, and instead, we got. <laughs> instead, we got that garbage. But you know, it is what it is. She boom clashes of Asker. This is the frame that everyone's like cross referencing when she's like smiling to the the. I was gonna say horns. Whatever the. Wherever this is. And Askarin looks down. Listen. I much, 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 much prefer this character over the little tiny boy. The one that we were expecting. Let me uh, pull up. Uh, I, I'll need to open the Ragnarok story. It was the one that was in story, right? How do you open the Ragnarok story again? It's here. Okay. Was in the last chapter? It was, right? Yeah, this guy right here. Not, not, not him. I mean, it could be him. Or was it Fenrir? Fenrir? Whatever his name is. He also got like some things coming out of his head. But it's the blonde guy. The blonde kid. This is supposed to like Balder. But like, cross-referencing with the picture. So let me re-pull. I don't know. It seems much more likely to be Thor, honestly. And you know what would be hilarious? So this character, I mean, there is not a zero chance that she's a human. Which is like, mm, that would be pretty funny. That would be pretty funny. Because like, I mean, you look at the trailer, right? And then we have Brynhildr, which is a human, right? She, she is a human. Run through, and then we have Tyr, which is unknown. Could have been a human as well, but he is unknown. And then after Tyr was uh, her, I would have to assume she's unknown. The reason for that is because she actually got like magical powers. She have like electricity, which is supposed to be Tor, right? Um, while you look at like, for example, Brynhildr, she doesn't have anything like that. She just has the spear and the shield. She's not doing anything like insane. And then like Tyr. Obviously, has fire powers, so they give him unknown. I would, I'm going to assume she is unknown, and she, in fact, will still be a character for the unknown team for Sabnak. My my stance on that has not changed because, you know, makes more sense. Like they release Sabnak, it makes sense for them to release characters for her, and this character, honestly, to me, sounds more like an unknown. I mean, even like. For example, from the trailer, you wouldn't know that any of these characters wouldn't be human, right? I mean, and then you have obviously Sigurd, which is human. You know, <laughs> it's really a toss-up. But yeah, I, I still think she's going to be a gnome, but the chance is not zero. 
that she's human, which would be hilarious. Wouldn't it be? It would be so funny if she was human, because everyone that's over Sabnak would be like, <laughs> justly infuriated, because now that, I mean, listen, Sabnak is good, you can still run her, she's like third best team in the game, unknown, if you have, if you have the other unknown characters, that, that team can go through and pull you some wins, right, but not the best. But that's what we've been expecting, you know, the, the team should get more characters and, and get better. Because Hell, she's outdated. She really is. She doesn't do very well against the current teams. Now, uh, another possibility. Let's say Tor is a human, and then she makes humans even better. Like, Rip... <laughs> Rip... Humans is already the best team in the game. Like, they already are. They're number one team for top 100. Everyone top 100 uses them pretty much. They're already the best team in the game. And then <laughs> replace, uh, replace Shida Hero here. He's definitely the weakest link on the team, even though he's very good. It's just the team is so stacked. That's why he's the best team in the game, right? Uh, but, you know, replace a Shield Hero, put another UR festival in there, and then boom. Who can win? No one. No one can win. That would be hilarious. But they can still drop a Holy Relic for help. They have Hell even in that Caesar. I don't think that means anything. Uh, maybe it does mean this is going to come back in a banner, but like, there's other UR festivals people would much rather come back in banner than her. Low key, right? If this character is human, she's a must pull. You know why? Because, <laughs> for one, I, I, I cannot envision them not bringing back Arthur. There's no way, bro. Like, it's been so long, he needs to be brought back, and potentially Gaffer on this banner. And then on top of that, she just already goes in the best team with the anniversary character, bro. Come on. <laughs> Don't be insane. My expectation is that she is, in fact, unknown, just like Tyr. Uh, that, like, I'm 95% sure she's gonna be unknown 5% hopeful she's gonna be human <laughs> that would be hilarious uh but yeah I mean unknown is gonna be stacked with her the team is j honestly j just need to replace hell and that's it like Victoria does not need to be replaced she's fantastic Victoria. if you don't have Victoria I have bad news for you but you know if you don't have Victoria and you do have Sabnak and you do have like either Galfer or hell that new festival Probably will still, like, make the team worthwhile. I highly, highly, highly doubt they're gonna release a festival that's not, like, OP, if it's a PvP festival. I can see, because it's a Ragnarok fest, them, I don't know, making her good for PvE as well. Because a lot of the Ragnarok characters are good for PvE. Like, if you see, like, Brynhildr, uh, Tyr isn't really. I mean, he's good for farming, I don't, like, gold, I don't know if I would count that. Uh, oh, no, he's not in this, but he's in here. I mean, yeah, they've made p good, good PvE characters for Ragnarok. Hell was not. Hell was not a PvE character, and she was the Ragnarok festival that we got last time. So, you know, could be, could not be. We'll see. Now that this changes things, honestly, you guys know my stance. I don't really like the fact that we're getting two OC festivals back to back, and the reason for that is completely selfish. Completely selfish. I don't need to put a, a, a mask and pretend. It's completely selfish. The views are bad. You know why? Because it's not hype. No one cares. They can release a terrible banner unit DN, and it will get more views for me than a festival Ragnarok unit. You know why? Because people actually give a shit about the... <laughs> Even if she's bad. Uh, uh, maybe not if she's bad. But, you know, like a king or anything like that. Doesn't, not even talking about festivals, just regular banner characters. Do much better for me than OCs every time. 100% of the time, no exceptions. So yeah, it is very selfish. But, hey, I am my own person with my own biases. Uh, if you only care, you don't. If you're watching this, highly, the, the biggest chance is that you don't really like DLC festivals either, because, hey, I mean, lo I'm looking at the numbers, most people don't. Some of you do, which is fine, you, lo you like what you like, but, you know, the my opinion doesn't matter, I'm still gonna pull for the character, try them out, if they're good, they're good, 
if the character is good, the character is good, and that's where it ends, right? It being, you know, hype or not does not change if they're good or not. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I do prefer that it's the woman. I think it's more hype than the kid. Who cares?